Hi YouTube, we have got a dandy for you today. This big bad boy is a Komatsu PC 490. This is from Rent One Equipment here in BC. 490, 49 metric tons, which puts this, I think, just shy of 110,000 pounds. The LC stands for long undercarriage or long chassis. I think most excavators in this class come only as long chassis. Uh, some of the smaller excavators, like the 15 to 20 ton size, are available with uh, standard or long undercarriage. Komatsu sure builds a nice excavator. I'm a big fan of their excavators. This one here has auxiliary hydraulic plumbing on both sides of the stick. So it looks compatible to running a, a thumb or breaker or one huge hoe pack. Has a hydraulic quick coupler Weldco Beals wedge lock. So this wedge powers hydraulically out of the ears to free up the bucket from the quick coupler. And that's all done hydraulically from in the cab. Also, this has got automatic greasing. Even for even for the bucket itself, bucket linkage. The ultimate lazy man's tool. <laughs> so for buckets, this machine came out with two buckets. This is a 54 inch dig bucket. Got lots of hard surfacing on here. And the cleanup bucket The cutting edge in that cleanup bucket, I just measured it's 88 inches wide. So that will take a big scoop and load a truck in a hurry. So for power, Komatsu has a partnership with Cummins for their diesel engines. So this has got an 11 liter Komatsu Cummins joint venture engine. They have built uh, over 500,000 diesel engines so far. That's a good workout getting inside the cab. The floor height is still higher than eyeball height. <laughs> Plastic still in the seat. So this is your hydraulic control for the quick coupler. And this is your automatic greasing system. That's your Typical excavator control panel. Travel pedals. And joystick control. Nice roomy cab in these guys. And Komatsu doesn't, doesn't try to invent, reinvent the wheel. They still have nice simple linkage on their front window. And I mention that because while some people consider it to be old fashioned, over the life of the machine, a nice simple slide mechanism like that doesn't start rattling loose over the years. And nothing is more annoying than sitting in this cab with this window stored overhead, rattling away. So kudos to Komatsu for 
not trying to reinvent the wheel with that. One thing I do not like is that you're still putting these skinny little skylights in, whereas a lot of manufacturers now, the whole hatch is a skylight. So you still get great visibility even if you're working in the rain. So there it is. I can't even get far enough to fit the whole thing in one one frame, but the Komatsu PC 490. We're going to give this thing a good tryout this week. <laughs>